This is Daily Flash with your hosts, Andrea Jackson and Mitch English. Trending news and entertainment. This is Daily Flash. Hi, I'm Mitch English. And I'm Andrea Jackson. This is Daily Flash, your source for trending news and entertainment. Matt, you just got out of uh, getting married. Well, you just got into getting married. Well, I just got into getting married. I'm not getting out. I'm not, I'm not working on getting out, Mitch. When I tell you this number, you're going to be, because uh, I, I have a feeling uh, it was a wonderful wedding, by the way, uh, but it will surprise you how much people are spending that these days, the average uh, amount of money people <laughs> I can spend. tell you over. And so I'm going to tell you numbers, and then uh, you don't have to say, but just think about these are the average. The average cost, of a popping the question in 2024 is thirty-three thousand dollars. Oh. That's about the average. So think about that. It's going through your mind there, Matt. Are we talking about the ring? Okay, we're talking about everything. So they from, get from from will you to I do. Yes, and then it's much more than that when you get divorced. <laughs> <Don't> trust. <laughs> Uh, the, I'm working on that. <laughs> the engagement ring is around seven thousand dollars. Wow. Is okay. What this, okay. No, uh, no, Matt's saying no. And this only I never I, had a guy. I never realized this, but wedding bands for both of you. I didn't. I always thought the wedding band was supposed to be more expensive, but the, apparently it, I found this out when I got married a year ago that the engagement mm -hmm. rings what you're supposed to put all the cash on, right? So mm -hmm. seven grand for the engagement mm -hmm. ring, and then for the wedding bands, the average cost is about seventeen hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. So you got like a cheap. You know, a ring that you're wearing all the time, and then the wedding band, uh, the engagement, engagement ring, ring you wear every once in a while. Yeah. See, uh, I, I, I got lucky because the guy that actually made my rings you knew the, made my parents, and he's a you he, knew a guy. He's John Allison Tony from New York. Oh, knew a guy. Oh, oh, oh. Knew a guy. Uh, don't ask where the diamonds came from. So nope, I'm not. nope. And then uh, for the wedding gown, uh, uh, the lady spent about fifteen hundred dollars. And this is what I think is the most alarming out of all this: the way that they pay for it, credit cards. Yeah. And if you're going into a marriage in, in debt, debt, man, I gotta tell you, it's like you're just setting yourself up for that m much more problems. So well, keep that in mind. We just talked to to one of uh, our financial experts yeah. about women and how they're doing so much better with finances. I do find that a lot of women are second guessing spending spending that kind of money on weddings because if you think about it the average price for a wedding is between 30 and 40 thousand yeah. dollars that's a substantial down payment 100%. on a home yeah. so wouldn't you rather maybe elope and then throw a nice party I mean that's a smarter yes. money way to do it obviously it doesn't have the same sentimental value have the party because yeah that's where the gifts come exactly. Look, tell I, about I, I, go wanted to go to, I wanted to go to Vegas yeah my mom wanted to pick the Elvis but Leah wanted the pretty party. Going, the yeah, pretty yeah. So we had the yeah. pretty party. You gotta have the pretty party. Yeah, it was a great party. Yeah. It was a great party. And, you know, uh, yeah, you're about right in the numbers. It, was it a first wedding I, for her? Yeah, yeah. And me. And you. So, yeah. No, my wedding was nowhere near that. But we spent all the money on, on the reception, though, because yeah. I wanted to have a party. No, the, yeah. booze, the, the, Coors, the Coors alone. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Well, an Arizona city has approved a program that would allow homeless workers to sleep in their cars. And the decision is causing outrage from local homeowners. The Sedona the City Council approved the Safe Place to Park program, which includes 40 designated parking spots for those employed full-time within the city limits. It also includes on-site bathrooms and cool. showers. Critics say this new program will lead to pollution, drug nah. use, other illicit activities, which could have negative impacts on the park and surrounding areas. City officials say the program just temporary and will conclude in 2026 when the funding runs out. The program comes after the city search for a solution to deal with skyrocketing home prices. Supporters say the move will help those who would otherwise be forced to sleep in their cars. Affordable housing projects are also in the works. And, you know, I, I tend to, I want to disagree with, uh, as far as drug use goes, that th this will bring in druggers. I don't understand if, you know, they're full-time employees and they're city workers who have yeah. to get drug tested and once. I don't think it's that. Pollution, I can, I can buy into that because you're in the yeah. trash, but you know what? You make sure that you have somebody like, hey, I'm the king of the parking lot. I want to make sure yeah. everything's good. There's going to be a Karen in, 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 that's <laughs> living in a van, right? That's why they call it a caravan. Uh, <laughs> caravan. <laughs> but, where do, but, okay, if you look at this, too, it, it, what's the difference between this and a rest stop? I mean, people stop and you re, and you take That's a, a nap point. for, you know, Pilots, two, three hours. Pilots, all those places you can you can stop yeah. off and take a shower. So, so, yeah, and then there's other places. And, you know, this place is going to have showers along with it. So I'd be worried about other things. It's possible that, that residents are asking that same question, like, why don't you develop this at the rest stop? Why do you have to have it in the middle of our neighborhood? Yeah, that's probably what, yeah, because um, it's Sedona. Yeah, it's Sedona, exactly. Yeah. And, and I can see why they think that maybe the people, the city workers might get um, moved out or crowded out by homeless people if that happens. That's a concern. We have more Flash coming mm -hmm. up. We're going to do some life, love, shopping right around the corner. Stick around.